We're still in Job 28. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knows not the price of it. Neither is it found in the land of the living. The deep says, Wisdom is not in me. And the sea says, It is not with me. You see, this earth and this earthly systems, they can provide you with a lot of knowledge, a lot of earthly knowledge. And every time that you do your new doctorate or new master's degree, you have to quote everybody else because you are just basically replicating their knowledge. But at the end of the day, you will have like a lot of knowledge and it will all be in your head. But it's still not wisdom. The earthly systems of this world can never provide you with that knowledge that only God can provide you with. You see, there's a knowledge that is far superior than earthly knowledge. And it comes only one way. Not through studying. Through revelation. It's an impart by God's Holy Spirit. And you will know more and the people of this world. You will know that you know that you know when God spoke to you. The deep says, it's not in me. Like I sa said, you can have all that qualifications against your wall, but the day that you're going to die, those same certificates will shout at you. It wasn't in me. You couldn't find that satisfaction, that peace in pursuing those pieces of paper. It's worth, worthless. It's worth nothing in heaven. The same. You can die on a bed of diamonds with golden blankets over you. But it will shout to you. It's not in me. You've missed it. You've totally missed it. You've wasted your life. I knew this lady, she taught me about one of the nurses. One guy was there on his deathbed and he was like a, ref, a reckless guy, not wanting to believe that there's more in life than just money. Walking over people, stepping on people. And all out of a sudden, unexpectedly, he's kind of like sat up straight. And he said, I need God. I need to make right with God. Who can help me? And he called her. He said, nurse, please help me. And she was thinking, where's the nearest Christian? And she started running, searching for a Christian to help this guy. And finally, when she got somebody, and she got back. This man was dead. He wasted his life. He was going for fool's gold. At that moment, his whole life was shouting at him. It wasn't in me. It could have been so different. If he had found Jesus along the way, he would have known. I can die. Yes. It was in you. It is in you and it will forever be in you, God. He could have said that. But dying empty, so empty. Because the systems of this world cannot give it to you. All the microscopic and telescopic info is a waste. Because there's more than that. And they can't see it. It's hidden. It cannot be gotten for gold. Neither shall silver be weighed for the price of it. It cannot be valued in terms of the gold of Ophir. In the precious onyx and beryl. Or the sapphire. Not even the purest gold on earth. Can buy you fav favor with God. Bring you in a right standing, standing of righteousness with God. 
It's only by grace. It's only by the blood of Jesus. Doesn't matter how many donations or good works you do. You can never buy it. You can only come to Jesus just like you are. Empty. So that he can fill you. And say, God, I want to be a man created in your image. And he, God will give you his spirit within you. And you can know that you know that you know that you are superior to the animal world. You are part of a bigger class. He said, from where then, verse 20, does wisdom come? And where is the place of understanding? It is hidden. Cannot see God, cannot find him because they are blinded in their pride. It is hidden from the eyes of all living and knowledge of it is withheld even from the birds of the heavens. Even that birds that fly high up there, up there in the sky, in the heavens, you can nowadays go with a skyrocket up into the atmosphere. You won't find God because God is in the spiritual realm, the spirit realm, the unseen realm, because the God that we serve is spirit. And we must find him in spirit and truth. And it can only happen in humility when you come to him and seek him with your whole life. Like all these treasures, like all these miners that I've been talking about in Job 28. Verse 23. God understands the way. God understands the way. This way that God understands. That's Christ. That's nobody else than Christ. Jesus himself. He is the way. He's the truth. He's the life. The only life. Eternal life is only in him. Without accepting him, you will die empty. It's a truth. Worthless. Just a worthless bundle of dust. And you will regret it for eternity. Verse 27. He alone possesses wisdom. God. If you read some of the other verses. For he looks to the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. That's our God. He's sovereign. When he gave to the wind weight or pressure and allotted the waters by measure. That sea that you see, that big, marvelous, vast ocean. He measured it with his hands. When he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder. Our God is sovereign. You can know him and rest because all the treasures that Job is talking about will not bring you peace. A false peace for a very short time here on earth. But you will miss eternity. I, I pray. I pray with my whole heart and my whole being. That you can know that I sit here. With no hidden agendas. I've got one agenda. That you will serve Jesus Christ. As the treasure above all other treasures. I pray that you will know me my friend. I bless you in his mighty name.